What's happening? Rise Up 44 here on Nelio Gaming. In this video, we're going to be checking out Call of Cthulhu on the PlayStation 4. Let's jump right in. Main menu. We have new game, load game, settings, and credits. Let's go with the new game. Chapter 1, Pierced Investigations Agency, Boston. Boston, 1924. Ed Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. I'm not familiar with torpor. Uh, Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Appreciate you all watching here on Nalio Gaming. Let you guys know I was provided with a game key to check out Call of Cthulhu. All right, enter madness. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who is his callousness can remain sane in this hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. Guts everywhere. Oh, geez, that's a shark. What the heck? All right, we already got a game save. Where are we? We're in a dungeon? Okay, we're in a dungeon with guts everywhere and a shark. All right, move. Left thumbstick to move. So it mentioned there that quote HP Lovecraft. And I actually I heard that HP Lovecraft pronounced Cthulhu the way not the way I'm saying it and like everybody else sell, says it. He says it really like uh what is it? Like Kalulu. It, it sounds really strange. Um I'm not gonna butcher it. I apologize that you know that's not the exact way he was saying it, but uh it's definitely not Call of Cthulhu, like everybody's saying. Um, but it doesn't really matter, uh, in my opinion. It's, it is what it is. Very eerie. I wonder if this is going to be a game that has, like, jump scares, or... We're investigating. Um, how we got in here, I don't know yet. We have guts and fish and sharks cut up. Looks like uh, just some sort of dungeon, I don't know. Bones. And we don't have any other prompts or anything yet. Just movement with... Oh, okay, here we go. Crouch, circle. Interact with X. Is that a hole? I'm going to walk forward. We have a lantern. Is this one locked too? Oh my, look at all the blood on our hands. This is pretty creepy, it's eerie. Counter darkness, you must light up some items in order to interact with them. Okay, let's grab the lantern maybe. Pick up an object. Dynamite, I hope. Nope. We have uh, bolt cutters. Okay. We have a ship, or not a ship, but a boat. Oh boy. What the hell was that? Uh oh. What's going on? Everything's shaking. That 
freak me out. Oh, what is that? I know it's just... Okay. That was just smoke, and I'm freaking myself out over nothing. I don't do well with scary. This should be interesting. To say the least, this should be interesting. Nice. You know what? Does this go to the same room? Let's find out. I think I might go to the same. Is there music playing? Whoa. That's not scary or anything. Yeah, it's the same, same, uh, dungeon lair, room, cave, whatever you want to call it. What the heck is this place? What a Whoa! Why does this voice scare me? What a putrid offering. Look at this. It's a uh, an orca killer whale. That's what it looks like. Oh yeah, there's a couple of them. That is nasty. I feel like it's leading me to a slaughter. It's just funneling me down these Don't fight. You have been chosen. Don't fight. I'll to run. Okay, what's going to pop out at me right now and make me run? So just taught me how to run. I feel like something's going to come crashing through there. Tentacles for an arm. Holy crap. That's one hell of a dream. Holy crap. Jeez. I hate whiskey. <laughs> Don't drink, man. You can have nightmares like that all the time. I wonder why I still take these things. I don't know what it is, but I feel like playing this game. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. I feel like playing this game the total opposite way of the way I usually would. I always play the good guy. I always do what I would do, like the right choice, be the nice guy, make the right decision. Let's play this opposite. Let's play this completely backward from what we'll do the opposite of everything I normally would do. So we have here Pierce Investigation Agency, 20th of October, 1924. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? All right, Pierce. Skill tree. Strength. Six CP needed before next level. All right. Dark water. You don't have any information yet. Clues. Inventory. My old lighter that I engraved in memory of the 77th Infantry Division. 
in the men of the lost battalion who fell. Interesting lyrics. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case, but when you are already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. Husband couldn't understand it. For Mr. Pierce, the husband never understood that his wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after an investigation had been closed. All right, that's everything. Let's. Uh, oh wait, the lost battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. Okay. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? Hey, that's me. That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sherrifield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. That's one way of doing it, all right. Eight CP available character points. Allocate your character points. Each character point points allows you to improve the score of a skill. Strength, eloquence, spot hidden, psychology, investigation, medicine, occultism. Okay. Spot hidden, what's that? Spot hidden represents your ability to find o hidden objects. Heck yeah, I like that. Okay, um, psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior. Improving this skill increases your chances of understanding the motivations of a person based on his or her, her behavior or on the analysis of objects. Investigation represents your investigating talents. Improving this skill increases your chances of understanding the past events by analyzing a crime scene or an object and of picking locks. Eloquence represents your ability to influence those you talk to by your power of speech. Strength represents your ability to call on your physical power. Medicine represents your medical knowledge. Improving this skill increases your chance of determining the dosage of a, of a drug, of making a diagnosis or expressing your understanding of a, a medical problem. Occultism represents your knowledge of the occult sciences. I think that, I mean, we could put one in each, right? But I kind of want to put another one in investigation. Validate. Character creation. Do you really want to validate? Yes. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you he hangs up on her. I'm coming. <laughs> I ain't got time for that. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. I must reek of booze in there. 
You're free to leave anytime, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes, everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want right. you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. <clears throat> Just by looking at a painting? What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. A shipping label. Some of it is unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. The police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide on a domestic accident, but they are nevertheless ins insist. But they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' a mental frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live in a recluse life. They live a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. Its strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? All right, so we got a PlayStation trophy. I believe it was a bronze ex oblivion or whatever it was. Um, that's our first PlayStation trophy. So let's see. What do we got here? Um, I like this. We have a speech wheel, so we make the, de the decisions. You're asking the wrong guy. I read about her mental fragility in the police report. Something's not right with this story. Where did Sarah Hawkins live? Find out about Warehouse 36. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. You're asking the wrong guy. Find out about Warehouse 36. I, oh, yeah, we already... Okay, where did Sarah live? That's all the information I need. Something's not right about the story. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. 
Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. You must? What's it pay? Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. I'm a private investigator, not an art critic. I guess you're not as clever as you think, then. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. The sender's label mentions warehouse. We already asked that, but why is it still That's there right. then? It came with Sarah's. And you think your daughter? That is all right. You can you skip ahead with Circle. Darkwater. And the last option is bottom right. That's all the information. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let some things up. That was An quick. artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take money, money. Case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. Well, no doubt. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shown since then. Atlas of Atlantic Islands. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. But don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of a long abandoned caves was it a sea or a dream god no one knows but today's inhabitants the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small island off the coasts of massachusetts that's interesting kind of touches on his dreams a little bit i don't know all i have to do is go to the port i just hope that i can find a boat able to natural sciences Linguistics, archaeology. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. All right, here we go, dark water. This is kind of cool. It's, it's, it's an interesting story so far. Oh, trophy earned the Sarah Hawkins case. Bronze PlayStation trophy. Chapter 2, Dark Water Port. Pierce took to Hawkins' case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused a fire that killed her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the shipping label and address a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation. This is uh, shaping up. I, I'm definitely digging it. It's a little slow. Um, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a different style of play, different game style. Uh, I know I mentioned it already, but I do want to mention again, just to be transparent, I was provided with a game key. Thanks to uh, Evolve, uh, Carly, very, very much appreciate you. Um, just wanted to say that and let you guys know, uh, yeah, we're going to play through and I'll give you my honest opinion and feedback and, uh, yeah, we're just going to kind of play through it and go from there.
We're just going to play through it and see what happens. Enter Madness. We're just going to play through the chapters, see what we like about it, see if there's anything we don't like about it. You know, I'll I'll voice my opinion and uh yeah, we'll just we'll just see what happens. All right, Enter Madness. Very dark and dreary, out on the ocean. Focus Home Interactive presents. Game by Cyanide Studio. Kind of looked like the guy in my dream. I got wrecked. Got stabbed. Oh yeah. Call of Cthulhu. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Mentor. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great pain for him. What a tragic end. You know what? what? Going on up there. Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. All right. Talk to Fitzroy. Game saved. Secondary objectives. Go to the bar, talk to Bradley. Alright. I always backtrack. Just kind of have it. He said stay on the boat. There's somebody coming to unload, but then we walked off. I don't really know what that was about. Fishing. All right, L2 runs. Well, kind of like jog a little bit. Whoa. Hey, 
Sullivan. Can't go any faster. You can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what you don't know. Or you'll pay for it for sure. Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get us into trouble. You can The same goes for you, sir. Move along. Ask about warehouse. These sailors get upset over nothing. You're totally out of your depth. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36. Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. What? You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me, me? to do my job. <laughs> you can't understand. Don't put that I'm not getting into those games, me. Shysters, you're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. You can't understand. Okay. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You can't understand. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shite. You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You That's can't no understand. You're what could have done so much damage? Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. You shysters. They can't understand. You shysters. Stupid idiots. <laughs> <Forget> it, <laughs> you damn stupid idiots. That's no way to treat an omen. An omen? Oh, yeah. He's gonna get us into trouble. They're wicked superstitious, maybe? That's what it seems like. What are these guys doing besides blocking the sidewalk? Your captain told you not to stick your noses around here again. This isn't your home, you bunch of sad There's nothing for you here either. We go where we want. Beat it. Hey, you'll get us into I baked that. There's nothing for you here either. Beat that. <laughs> Beat that. So, go to the bar. Talk to the Troy. Let's go talk to the bar. Actually, let's see. What's this? Can I pick this lantern up? Negative. Cannot. All right, you can't climb under there. Doesn't seem like there's anything under there. Prohibition with spears. <laughs> Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Yeah, you're an alky dude. Who wants prohibition now? Likes to drink. Alright, no collectibles. Like I said, very slow moving, but super cool. He spits on the ground right in front of me. What a jerk. Look at that. Dude, he's all weird looking. Hey, be careful. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> that was perfect. Let's get him another drink. We'll try. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. It wasn't me who went looking for it. The guy didn't show respect. You're overdoing it. I'm sorry. Well, 
pure instinct. I behaved like a hun, and I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Okay. No prohibition around here. I'm looking for warehouse, leave, order a drink. Let's order a drink. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. The singing in the background by the fishermen is so depressing. I think we'll get along well. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. She. Anything else? The stranded whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her vision, was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? That's a good question. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Okay. I've got what I need. Anything else? What can you tell me about her? We are then. I've got what I need. Anything else? I do like the conversation wheel. I like that in games. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there were rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of... You mean our... So I'll tell no... She'd know anything else. That'll be all for now. Okay. We need to go talk to Fitzroy now. Check the corners of the bar real quick. See if there's any collectibles or anything to pick up. 
be somebody to talk to. She's got to be the moonshine. What supplier. you looking at, stranger? She can certainly put them away. Nothing at all. What is a woman like to do in a place like this? The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. I told you to beat it. I told you to beat it. It won't let me ask her any of the other conversation points. That sucks. I should have asked her one of the other questions. Do you like our song? No. <laughs> not at all. We're it's awful. Sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last. The biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. It's a local legend? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. Huh. I bid you farewell, young man. Good night, stranger. So long. Stranger. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations, gifted with its own consciousness, until it finds a new reader. Ah, that's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No, no, the risks are too high. It's a book, after all. Look at the scars on his hand. Pure knowledge. What's up with that? Okay. That means something. I don't know what, but it means something. Well, these harpoons are kind of cool looking. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. The Scilia returns to port to save Darkwater from a famine. We had given up hope. The crew of Scilia, or what remains of it, returned to the Darkwater port late on Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessels had on board. Of a size of that went beyond that of the formidable toothed whales. The, uh, I don't know that word. The ke, the sea, sea, I don't know. That is already being called the miraculous catch. Covered the whole deck and parts of it were hanging over the sides of the ship. The surviving sailors told a frightening account of their perilous catch, but also of its meat unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutritious benefits. 
There is no doubt that the immense size of this whale will allow numerous inhabitants of the dark water of dark water to feed themselves, bringing an end to the famine from which part of the island was suffering. Warehouse for rent. Mr. Marks is putting his warehouse up for rent from June for fishing, workshop, or storage activities. You can contact them via your favorite newspaper or visit them on the docks. Special evening at the Stranded Whale. Celebrate the return of the brave whalers. All the staff of the Stranded Whale invite you to an exceptional and free tasting event. Come with your family or with friends to taste a miraculous catch. Each person will leave with a bottle of oil, so don't hesitate. Okay. Interesting. You have no right to treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he say? He laughed. My God. All right, I think that's it. Check this side of the bar and we'll skedaddle. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker and a debtor. Interesting. That's their uh, tab. Interesting. Wait, what? Oh, that prohibition. And then he said, You have no right to treat us like this. All right, we're out of here. Fitzroy. Unless something else comes up. Harbor Master. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this threatening letter. Cat. Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier. Cat. This uh, guy just lets me walk around opening drawers and looking at stuff. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. It's an interesting toilet. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. A scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. This second volume teaches ethics and good practice to medical staff. Hey, okay. That's a collectible. Can't climb the ladder. Can we go upstairs? What have we got up here? Different uh, clamshells and. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. In this photograph, a man who looks like Captain Fitzroy is posing on the bridge of his ship. He has a wooden leg. What a macabre souvenir. That's a wooden leg? What, what a macabre the... souvenir. Oh, okay. I can light things. Interesting. Trying to 
burn something. How do you put it away? Circle? Triangle? Triangle. Triangle. Yep, triangle. Circle ducks. Alright. Nothing else. Fitzroy. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. Only a few dates are still legible. 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? Manifest. Talk to Fitzroy again. Wait, is this another stair? Oh, okay, it's blocked off. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. Unlocked answer. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? What did Charles Hawkins really do for a living? You tell me. I thought that fishermen... Fishing stuff. I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. Talk about dark water. Ask him about the warehouse. This photograph looks like you. It was Cat. I saw the killer whale at the war on the wharf. What is this miraculous catch? I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg okay. is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. <laughs> Indeed, you're right. That's interesting stuff right there. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. 
Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. All right. Interesting. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. You know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Hmm. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belongs to the Hawkins family. Lie, I have no idea. You underestimate me. Is this a game for you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. You're back again. What can I do for you? I shall be on my way. Okay, get inside. Warehouse 36. Oh, okay, these guys are off now. Will they talk to me? Nope, none of them. But we can go around back. They're not blocking the street anymore. So that unlocked this part. They were arguing here. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. Bootleggers? You're not scared of their boss? But what are bootleggers doing around here? I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. If you want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I shall take my leave. Find hidden items. The spot hid the spot hidden skill allows you to find hidden items. Okay. How do I spot hidden items? It looks like there's a way in under this grate. How the heck do I... How do I see if there's a hidden item? A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. Floaties, buoys, whatever you want to call them. Okay, the part enables heavy loads to be lifted and held aloft without risk. Ratchet device. This ratchet device seems to be usable. Well, isn't that nice? Oh, okay. A handle. It must come from these old winches. Oh, it's a ladder. Okay. Pretty 
pretty straightforward. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. Leads you to the next objective. Mount the handle, mount the ratchet. Alright, now what? I need to hook it. Oh, it's already hooked. So now what? What do I do now? Get inside where I was at. Okay. So what the heck? Am I missing something here? I must be missing a piece. Must be. Yeah, it's gotta be. Guys aren't blocking the way either. What the heck? St. Bernard. St. What is that? Brendan. St. Brendan. The Navigator. Hmm. It's like, just like the one inside. Just like the one inside. Same sort of crank. So if I was missing something, it probably would have been there, no? Yeah, I mean... There we go. Picking locks. Like a champ. There. Game saved. Hello, old friend. Bottle of liquor. Really? You broke into this place just to get a bottle of liquor, Yuaki? What the heck? There's nothing important here but liquor. Typical Alki. What the heck? We still have those, uh, no, that was just in his dream. Never mind. I was going to ask if we had the chain cutters, but that was in his dream. So never mind. Don't look like there's anything else to grab over here. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We do saw what? what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. What? St. Brendan? I'd never have done such a thing. Who is St. Brendan? I've just 
arrived, fools. I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows Saint Brendan, the navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. What happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. Wait a There's minute. You, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait. Now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Well, Quieter. what the heck, you drunk? That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. <laughs> Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. <laughs> Nothing at all. They're packing up now. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us. Oh, like boy. All Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. So why would you abandon it then? Isn't it a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. So we drink. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. See you guys later. So, what? I didn't even see what happened to the statue. What was wrong with it? Oh, they painted on it. Okay, they vandalized it. Alright. They spray painted it with green. So we gotta keep an eye out for green spray paint. Where do you think you're going? I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? I'd like to know more about the Hawkins case. I don't think so. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas. And the accident has affected him badly. Silas? He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. Who's Silas? Who the heck is Silas? Is it a dog? Sounds like a dog name. Now I need to know who the heck Silas is. Out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. I bet that you hit them somewhere in your hut on the dock. 
how could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Hmm. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. <laughs> Boy, we don't have a clear conscience. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go soaks. die first, a lot of you. It'll stink less. Cat, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyhole. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But oh, he only man. smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> What happened to the statue of St. Brendan? Dreadful. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors. Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. So they're just guards. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple in fact. Fuck off. <laughs> I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. Now we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. I bid you gentlemen farewell. We'll go another route. Normally, I would try to talk him into it, but we're not even going to bother. Like I said, I'm going to try to play this, like, backward. Completely opposite of how I normally would. Alright. Where are we? Last checkpoint, settings. Okay. So, we need to get inside the warehouse. How are we going to do that? Let's, um... You again. I told you to beat it. No need to get worked up. Let's see, let's see, let's see. How the heck? There's got to be something with that, uh, that crank. I just, I feel like I'm missing a piece to it. Oh, yeah. He's going to get us into trouble. What could have done so much damage? You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something big is Is there no way to crank it? Nope, no way to crank it. This is crazy. I don't get it. 
All right, well, we need to figure out how to get inside the warehouse. But I think this first episode has gone a little longer than I anticipated. So that's where I'm going to leave off. So that's where I'm going to end my first gameplay with Call of Cthulhu by Focus Home Interactive and Cyanide Studio here on the PlayStation 4. I do appreciate you watching on Elio Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at RiseUp44 and at Nalio Gaming. And please consider subscribing to me here on Nalio Gaming. So like I mentioned early on, I was provided with a game key. Thanks to Carly from Evolve Terminals. Huge shout out to her for hooking us up so that I could spend time with this title to create content and share it with you guys here on Nelio Gaming. So it's definitely not going to be a game for everyone. It's a slower paced, very heavy story narrative. It's just, it's very like linear and to the point, some small little puzzle mechanics, but it's, it's pretty slow going and me i like games like this but i know that there are some out there that are not gonna are are just gonna be bored or they just don't enjoy slower paced games and that's fine but me i know there's plenty of other gamers like me out there that enjoy games like this and uh i can't wait to see what happens moving forward we need to figure out how to get into this warehouse and uh there's obviously something missing i'm missing something um but this episode has gone on long enough I just wanted to share that bit of gameplay with you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave it all down in the comment section, questions, all that. Leave it down there. Again, subscribe and click the like button if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.